Once upon a time, on a faraway island, there lived three engines. There was a small tank engine named Thomas, who ran his own branch line, a bright red engine named James, and Edward, the oldest engine on the line. Together, the three engines work hard to keep Sir Topham Hatt's railway running smoothly. But one of their favorite things to do is play tricks on each other. And that's kind of what this story is about. It's not fair! It's just not fair! What's not fair? It's not fair that Edward gets to pull the express while Gordon's away. That job should be for a splendid engine. And that someone is you? Of course it is! Look at my red paint! That should be obvious to everyone. I'm the best engine for the job. Relax, James. It's only while Gordon's away. Exactly! This is my chance to prove how useful I am. James, you should be thankful Sir Topham Hatt didn't send you away after your accident. But Edward had made a plan. It's alright, Thomas. I think he's right. James, if you really want to, I'll let you pull my passenger train tomorrow. But Edward... Really, Edward? You'll give me a chance after all? Of course I will, James. It'll be waiting right here for you in the morning. James was so excited he thought his boiler would burst. I can't wait! The next morning, James puffed into the yard to collect his coaches. Edward was already waiting there. Now, James, the trickiest part to passenger trains are the passengers. Don't let them make you angry. They can be very particular. I know all about passengers, Edward. Goodbye. And James set off. Edward chuckled. These aren't just any passengers, James. James puffed cheerfully into the station. But his happiness didn't last long. The passengers instantly started grumbling. You've stopped too short of the platform, they screamed. Aw, oh, come on, just get on board already. We have a timetable to keep. The passengers grumbled as they boarded the train. With an indignant toot-toot of his whistle, James started their journey. James was having a terrible day. He could hear the passengers grumbling even from outside the coaches. We want Edward, they shouted. This made James cross. What kind of train ride is this? The people are supposed to be happy. No matter what James did, the passengers would not stop complaining. They grumbled all the way across the island and all the way back. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me right now. You've got to be kidding me right now. Are you kidding me? All right, all right. I'm taking you back already. Just shut up. This is the worst job ever! Finally, they reached the last station. Unfortunately, to top it all off, James stopped short of the platform again. The passengers couldn't have been more cross. Ah, come on. They shouted angrily, but James didn't care. I just want to go home! Hello, James. How was your passenger train today? I don't want to talk about it. You look worn out, James. Are you alright? You can have this train, Edward. These passengers are the worst ever. I agree, James. I wish I could help you, but Sir Topham Hatt has sent me to another yard to work now, so it looks like you'll have to manage alone. What? Don't worry, James. Gordon will be back soon. Goodbye. Well, well, well. What do you know about that, James? I couldn't be happier, Thomas. Couldn't be happier.